What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview. And we have the first ATP 500 event of the 2021 season, the Rotterdam Open. It's an indoor hardcore tournament. A lot of big names are playing this event, but a lot of players have withdrawn. Let's go check it out. The number 10 player in the world, Berrettini, he's not playing. Corino Busta, Evans, Fritz, Brianovic is pulled out. Also, the defending champion, Monfils, he pulled out as well. Rajonic, Rud, Shapovalov. And the biggest name to pull out in the last couple of days was Rafa Nadal. He is out with a back injury. So this tournament has eight seeds and no seeds get a buy in the first round. So Medvedev, the number one seed, he's up the top of the draw. He has to play Lajevic in the first round, which is a little bit of a tricky first round for him. Winner of that's going to play either Chorich or Van der Zanschel in the second round. Then we have the Battle of the Aussies, Diminor versus Milman. The winner of that's going to play one of the best first round matches, I think, going around. Nishikori versus the number seven seed, Oja Aliassime. So Nishikori still on the comeback from injury. And this would be a great test for him because obviously while he's been away, Oja Aliassime has kind of come onto the scene. So I'm really excited to see that first round matchup. Then we have the number three seed, Zverev against Bublek in the first round. That'll be a fun match. Winner of that's going to play either Paul or Sonigo in the second round. Then we have a qualifier versus Opelka in the first round. The winner of that's going to play a Spanish player in the second round, either Fakina or the number five seed, Batista Agu in the second round. So RBA, he's currently playing a tournament at the moment. So he's going to have to run over to Rotterdam really quickly to play his first round match. Bottom half of the draw now, we have David Goffin, the number six seed. He versus Struff in the first round. Winner of that's going to play either a qualifier or Umbea in the second round. Then we have Battle of the Wild Cards, Haas versus Murray. Andy Murray's still looking to get some form after a disappointing comeback last week. Winner of that's going to play either a qualifier or the number four seed, Rublev, in the second round. So Murray versus Rublev, that would be a great test for both players. Great test for Rublev against a Grand Slam champion. Great test for Murray against one of these next-gen guys, top 10 guys. Then we have the number eight seed, Vavrinka versus Hashinov in the first round. Another great first-round matchup. Winner of that's going to play either Basilashvili or a qualifier in the second round. Then we have Herkatch versus Manorino. The winner of that's going to play either Jerisimov or the number two seed, Sidzi Pass, who has now had time to recover since that epic match he played against Rafa and also the match against Medvedev at the semifinals of the Australian Open. He's had time to relax now, so he should be feeling good going into this tournament. But again, even though Rafa's not playing, big names in this one. We've got City Pass, we've got Rublev, a couple of top 10 guys. Also Stan, the man, he's still in this as well. And Murray, another Grand Slam champion. But there's a lot of unseated players that are very, very dangerous in this one. So there it is, the Rotterdam Open. It's going to be really fun to see a lot of the players that did well in Australia, like Medvedev, even Zverev, and City Pass. How are they going to back it up now? It's only been about a week since that Australian Open semifinals, quarterfinals for most of those guys. Let's see how they do now. Let me know down in the comments below who you think is going to win this tournament. It's very wide open in my opinion. So in terms of predictions, it's a very tough tournament. There's a lot of unseeded players. But of course, we've got a lot of top 10 guys as well and Grand Slam champions. But I think I'm going to go with number two seed, Sitsi Pass, in this one. I know that Medvedev and Zverev are great indoor players. But Sitsi Pass, I feel like he reached a new level last week against Rafa. Then he ran out of gas against Medvedev in the semifinals of Australia, but I think he would have recovered now. I'm going to go with City Pass for this one. Let me know down in the comments below who you think is going to win this tournament. So Rafa's not playing Rotterdam, but it's still a stacked draw.